Friends, this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. Pupil is not well dilated. Pupil, we can see mid dilated. The size of the pupil is about 5 mm. But during emulsification of the nucleus, this pupil, this kind of pupil usually comes down further and surgery becomes difficult. However, in this case, I managed the nucleus without using any pupil expansion device. Let us see how the surgery was done. This is a minimally edited surgery. The main incision has been made and a side port has been made on the left side of the main incision about 90 degree away. Now I go to stereo coaxial illumination of the Lumera T microscope and do this capsular excess. This is a adequate, this is an adequate sized capsular excess. In some cases when the pupil is small, in some areas we have to go beyond the margin of the pupil to get adequate size excess. Hydrodissection is done, the nucleus is attempted to mobilize, but it was not rotated nicely. And now I am using this instrument, this is Mohantas pre-chopper and sustainer. And now I rotate the nucleus by the sustainer and the pre-chopper and divide the nucleus into three pieces. Inject some more visco and now the FECO needle goes in and I have taken a OI hook in my left hand to manage the nucleus as well as the iris in case the iris tends to come down I can hook the margin of the people and prevent it from getting trapped in the aspirating port of the FECO needle. Now after emulsifying on piece, I find it difficult to manage the nucleus and I don't want to hold this nucleus because if I try to hold it I will make a pit, I will just not be able, it will be difficult with pre chopper also. So I inject visco, rotate the nucleus and divide this hemineucleus into two pieces. Now I come out, go with the handpiece again and this time this free nuclear piece easily comes to the tip. Note that these two pieces has been emulsified when the Y hook was outside the anterior chamber. And now once I want to mobilize the nucleus, I go in with the oil hook and it is done. The nucleus is nicely managed. This is the cortex, part of the cortex that is the cortex at 3 o'clock has been removed by the handpiece itself. Now I inject visco and use this coaxial irrigation aspiration and remove the cortex from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Now I find it difficult to remove the subincisional cortex with this instrument because the people has come down a bit at this time. I can't see the uh, cortex with the when I try to remove it with the coaxial irrigation aspiration. Now I go through the side port and remove the sub incisional, sub main incisional cortex by the Simco. And all the cortex from all around has been removed now. Now I'm using Visco in this case to implant the intraocular lens because Visco will dilate the people a bit 
I will be able to see the people emerging at some places and taking guidance of that part of the erexis, I will be able to see that the nucleus is in the capsular bag or not. The intraocular lens has been implanted in the capsular bag. I am checking with the use of two hooks and I find that it is in the capsular bag. Now I have to remove the visco thoroughly. First I use the uh, 23 gauze Simco and irrigate the anterior chamber and then I go behind the intraocular lens and irrigate the posterior chamber the capsular bag and now I use bimanual irrigation aspiration. Use the irrigating probe in the right hand and aspirating probe in the left hand. While I use the irrigation at the same time I lift up the anterior wall of the main wound and a leakage of fluid is minimized. The irrigation is behind the lens aspiration above and that thus all visco that was in the capsular bag was removed. Now we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now I use a 27 gauze cannula as the syringe contains uh, the syringe contains bases and the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. The main wound doesn't require any hydration in my cases. Now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed. Integrity of all the wounds are checked by cotton tipped and Johnson bars and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Wish not it were easier, wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges, wish for more wisdom.